Celestial Astrology with Gemini. Mm, Gemini. I really feel the energy of Gemini. My dad is a Gemini. My brother is a Gemini. Uh, a lot of guys that I've dated are Geminis. Uh, some of my closest friends are Geminis. So I feel the Gemini energy. I know it, I know it a lot in my life. Uh, and so Gemini is going to be connected to uh, the the time of the year that is May 21st to June 20th. So interestingly enough, it is that energy, uh, once we get to June 20th, that's going to be the summer solstice. So it's this time that really now the energy of the year is starting to really have this growth of, a, of abundance start moving up, right? The light's starting to increase. It's starting to have warmer days. And there's this energy of uh, momentum and inspiration that's happening. And we're getting things really going in our energies. And so uh, this is... Uh, ruled by the planet of Mercury. And of course, a lot of people know about Mercury retrograde. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like that's one of the things. If you don't know anything about astrology, one thing you probably have heard around wouldn't be surprised is Mercury retrograde. I'll definitely have some uh, some support on that if you look at my other videos. Even if, uh, you know, I have a transit uh you know, transit video about Mercury retrograde. I might just do one just on it itself. So that way, you know, you can always check it out and see what's up with Mercury retrograde. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So basically with Gemini, <laughs> the energy of Gemini is ruled by the twins. And so it can definitely have that energy where the Gemini has this kind of like two way, like, should I go this way or that way? And I see this point of view and I see that point of view. So I do feel like Gemini has this energy where it can really see uh, different options. Um, I do know personally, uh, having Geminis in my life, uh, that sometimes it can be kind of this like, should I do this or that? Oh, I see this ankle and I see that. So, you know, it, it, that, that's just part of the energy, the, of the mutable energy. Even in the, in, the, in the astrology, if you look at the way that the energies move throughout the year. Uh, you know, we, we, we kind of had the cardinal, which is like this fixing point where now things are really shifting over. So for instance, Aries is shifting over cardinally. Then it settles into the energy of that season, which would be Taurus. Then when it's Gemini, for instance, that's this energy uh, that's really starting to, ch to change an energy that's moving. So it kind of has its, its flow about how it goes. Uh, so, uh, you know, with the Gemini, uh, you know, it is uh, ruled uh, by... Uh, the energy of Mercury, which I've mentioned already, and it's all about communication and uh, and about uh, money and uh, travel. And so with Gemini, there's a lot of energy of, of traveling, of really, uh, you know, coming into the mind and a lot of inspiration ideas that are coming through. And it's also going to be in that third house, which rules communication. It uh, rules uh, siblings, uh, our neighborhood, uh, travel, and, uh, you know, more and more locally travel travel um i think uh i think of Je i think of jupiter and sagittarius uh well especially sagittarius in like the ninth house that's more like like traveling all over the world whereas like mercury is kind of a little bit like more local and stuff um and so the energy uh can be for gemini is sometimes it's like there's so much going on like if you've noticed like right when it gets to be around the end of may uh, schools letting out, uh, you know, towards like the college and then like into June, the, the, you know, the schools are letting out and it's like the end of the year uh, for school and there's this, this energy of like there's so much going on. And so the Gemini energy, you know, if we can rein it in, um, it can help, like we can see that there's a lot of options, but sometimes we can feel like there's a lot of options. So it's about really, uh, you know, bringing it and honing it in, you know, and I and I really do feel like that that twin energy it's kind of reminding that like we can like find a, a balance between like polarities and kind of like weave it in together. And so, uh, you know, those are just a few things about uh, Gemini uh, just to kind of share with you all. And uh, yeah, so thanks for listening. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlist, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpamancy, a playlist on my books, The Elements, Stones, The Theories That Govern Magic, and The Gods and Goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, 
Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, and The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com, and you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.